Sciatica. What is sciatica? Shooting pain radiating along the course of the sciatic nerve, which runs from the lower back to the buttock, through the back of the thigh, and into the lower leg and foot. Sciatica pain usually affects one side of the body, and sometimes it is called lumbar radiculopathy. Sciatica may be self-diagnosed by the pain shooting down the buttock, the back of the thigh, and leg. Sciatica is not a diagnosis. It is a symptom of an underlying condition. The two most common causes of sciatica are lumbar disc herniation and piriformis syndrome. In case of disc herniation, a nerve root is irritated. In case of piriformis syndrome, the sciatic nerve is compressed by the piriformis muscle. Sciatica is one of the most common symptoms of lumbar disc herniation. Piriformis syndrome can cause sciatica-like symptoms, and this needs to be differentiated from sciatica that's caused by a herniated disc. Both may have the same symptoms, but both have different causes. So if there is a herniated disc, affecting the lumbar nerve root, there will be irritation of the nerve root, and that's called lumbar radiculopathy, with the pain shooting down to the thigh and the leg, and that is a true sciatica. Sitting may aggravate and irritate the nerve, causing the sciatica pain because it places tension and will stretch the nerve during sitting. The nerve pain can be shooting pain like an electric shock that radiates to the leg and the foot. It can also be burning and tingling and numbness. The patient may be unable to stand or walk. The patient may complain of some weakness. The pain may be constant and severe. Sudden movements. Coughing and sneezing can also aggravate the sciatic nerve and cause the pain. The pain improves when lying down. The pain is worse during standing and sitting. Symptoms of sciatica is felt in different areas of the leg and the foot, depending on where the nerve root component of the sciatic nerve is compressed and which nerve root is involved, as you can see here in this diagram. The most important cause of sciatica is lumbar disc herniation. As the disc ruptures and herniates, this irritates the nerve root. The disc will herniate in a posterolateral direction because this is the weakest part of the annulus fibrosus. So a tear is created, and through this tear, the disc material, which is the nucleus bulbosus, will herniate and irritate the nerve root. The most commonly affected level is L5-S1, which will involve the S1 nerve root. The best examination for lumbar disc herniation is the straight leg raising sign, the tension sign. If the patient has a positive tension sign, this patient will get better with surgery. There will be pain and parathesia at 30 to 70 degrees of leg elevation. This elevation will reproduce the leg pain, but not the back pain. The Lesuch test. What is the Lesuch test? The straight leg raising pain is aggravated by forced ankle dorsiflexion. The straight leg raising sign will usually diagnose L5 or S1 nerve root irritation.
MRI is the best study to show the herniated disc. If the patient complains of sciatica and the MRI does not show there is a disc problem, then the patient probably has piriformis syndrome. 90% of patients with disc herniation will improve within one month with non-operative treatment such as rest, physiotherapy, anti-inflammatory medication, muscle relaxants. The condition usually resolves itself in few weeks. So when surgery is done, surgery is done when there is a progressive weakness or persistent disabling pain for more than six weeks. Who's a good candidate for surgery? A good candidate for surgery will have sciatica, leg pain. Patient will complain of shooting pain into the back of the thigh and leg. Tension sign. Positive straight leg raise. Abnormal neurological findings and an MRI finding of disc herniation, which is consistent with the neurological exam. So that means L5 S1 herniated disc will affect S1 nerve root. So the patient will have symptoms and signs of S1 nerve root irritation. Then what type of surgery? Laminotomy and discectomy. The surgical treatment is done to remove the intervertebral disc and relieve the pressure placed on the nerve. Surgery is better and is quicker in recovery than no surgery. Surgery will cause improvement in the pain, in the function, and in the patient's satisfaction. After surgery, the patient can return to intense activity at four to six weeks. Another popular cause of sciatica is piriformis syndrome. The sciatic nerve can become irritated where it runs under the piriformis muscle in the buttock area. When the piriformis muscle irritates the sciatic nerve, it causes sciatica. It is not a true lumbar radiculopathy and it is not a true sciatica. However, it is called sciatica. Diagnosis of piriformis syndrome should be done by exclusion of any possible spine problems, which could be compressing the spinal nerve roots and causing true sciatica. A true sciatica is caused from irritation of the nerve roots due to disc problems. They call it lumbar disc radiculopathy. Piriformis syndrome causes sciatica due to irritation of the sciatic nerve itself. The treatment of piriformis syndrome is usually physiotherapy, anti-inflammatory medication, and injections. Surgery is the last resort, and the surgery will involve release of the cause of the problem, which is the piriformis tendon, and exploration of the sciatic nerve if needed. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.